I think part of it is like, if the animal says they're ready and you know that this is part of their healing journey and that as the animal is asking for master's level, it's what is this, this animal has its own spiritual journey of healing its owner, of healing the people that mm-hmm. come to it. And so why not? You know, and this is where, you know, I might contrast to other Reiki masters <laughs> because I go, I constantly am going back to the precepts of going, why am I concerned if this is what intu- intuition is telling me, mm-hmm. if this is where divine grace has led me, why question it? <laughs> so this is what you do when you do an um, animal or a location, I'm just putting it out there that it's possible. Um, you want to go into that meditative state and let your Reiki guides tell you how to do it. Yeah, the more you can lean into letting your guides act through you during the attunement process, the better. Yeah. Right. You don't need to figure it out. They're going to just do it. Like, I, don't, I don't know how many times I've done sessions. Like, I don't know what I did. I just, I was just the con to it. I'm like on some other plane plane. Like I'm, I'm not even in my body. Like they just are driving. And so yeah. when you do animals, when you do locations, when you do inanimate objects, like whatever it may be, then it's coming from a place of this is for the divine good of all. And I ask that the Reiki energy, show me how to do it. The, my Reiki guides show me how to do it. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing this from a place of love, light, healing, and and then, and therefore it's like, especially with an animal, they're already tuned into their innate wisdom. Unlike, like they're already directly tuned into that versus humans who have this like choice going on. And the animals, like, like they know, like they're here for us in some capacity as our, uh, as their humans, right? <laughs> There and our our stuff and I know the animal communicators in the house like our stuff is totally reflective in our animal stuff right like mm-hmm. it's so mirrored all the time <laughs> all the time yeah and so like listen to that listen to that listen and trust it and and beautiful stories will come of it where it's like now they're able to support their humans even more so. And, and so, yeah, if it's coming from a positive love light place, I don't see anything wrong with giving animals attunements. Mm-hmm.